Hello everyone. Welcome back to the series solving SQL interview questions. In our last videos, we have covered SQL interview questions asked at Amazon, Netflix and Google. In this video, we'll be covering an SQL interview question asked at Uber. So let's go ahead and start solving. The problem that we'll be solving today is distance per dollar. As you can look at the screen, you're given a data set of Uber rides with the traveling distance, distance to travel column and cost, monetary cost column for each ride. For each date, find the difference between the distance per dollar for that date and the average distance per dollar for that year month. Distance per dollar is defined as the distance traveled divided by the cost of the ride. The output should include the year month and the absolute average difference in the distance per dollar, absolute value to be rounded to the second decimal, you should also count both success and failed request status as the distance and the cost values are populated for all the requests. Also assume that all the dates are unique in the data set. Order your result by the earliest request date first. So this is our question. And according to our approach, the first step is understanding the inputs and the outputs. So for that, I'm just going back to the question again. And they're saying for each state, find the difference between the distance per dollar for that date and the average distance per dollar for that year month. So I see that they're asking us to calculate something called as the distance per dollar per each date. So I see that we have to use a date time column, which I know by looking at the table, it has something called as the request date. So my input is going to be request date. And for calculating the distance per dollar, I need to divide the distance traveled by the cost of the right. So I'm going to use the columns, distance to travel and monetary cost. So my inputs are going to be these three. Request date, distance to travel and monetary cost. Now my outputs are going to be, as they explicitly mentioned in the question, the output should include year month and the absolute average difference in the distance per dollar and the absolute value to be rounded off two decimals. So now the second step of our approach is going to be articulating our solution verbally to the interviewer, which is basically explaining our approach and getting a confirmation of our understanding. So from the question, we understand that they want us to include the year and month, which means we are basically expected to extract the year and month from the date time column, which is request date. So for that, I'm going to use the date format in this way so that it will extract the year and month for me. And the second thing they want from us is the absolute average difference in the distance per dollar. So for actually calculating the difference first, you need to calculate the average, right? So I'm going to use the average window function so that it is calculated for each and every row. Then I'm going to use the absolute function so that I'll get the absolute value of the difference that I'm getting. Then I'm going to use the round with two as the input because they've mentioned that they want the final output to be rounded off to two decimals. Then finally, I'm going to group by the year and the month because they specifically said that they want the output for each year and month. And also they finally mentioned that order your results by the earliest request date first. So I'm going to order this by this date format that we are creating for year and month. So this is basically going to be my approach. Now the third step of our approach is constructing the query step by step. And the first part of our query construction is extracting the year and month out of the date time column. So I'm going to say select date format and our column name is request date. And the format that we want is year and month sorry and i'm going to give this entire uh, extracted column a name probably year month and i'm getting this entire data from the uber request logs table and since they want this for each year month i'm going to group by year month and i'm going to order by year month so this is our code I'm going to execute now. And as you can see on the screen, we can now see the output for each and every year and month. 
Now the next step of our query construction is calculating that difference between the average distance per dollar which is absolute value rounded off to two decimals. So for that as we've established in our explanation that we'll be using the average window function so it has partition for that each year and month. So I'm going to say average distance per okay I think it's distance to travel divided by monetary cost so they have mentioned in a question that uh, the distance for calculating the distance per dollar it is distance to travel divided by the cost so I've given that now I'm going to minus this by average of distance to travel divided by monetary cost over partition by since they want this to be partitioned by the year and month which is our date format request date of this year month so the reason why we are using this year month column directly instead of giving it a column name which is year month window function will not be able to identify this prior so we need to specify the entire thing so this is done now i'm going to give this entire column name a function which is probably called as the average difference so this entire thing is again coming from the uber request logs and order by year month group by year month so i'm simply going to run this query now as you can see it you now have the year month and the average difference but in the question they've specified that they want it explicitly as the absolute value right so you now have to use the absolute function and that's what i'm going to do now so I'm going to say absolute value of this entire thing and I'm going to run it. As you can see, this has been rounded off to absolute value, which is basically it's returning you a positive value. Now they also want this to be rounded off to two decimals. So I'm now also going to use round method so i'm going to say round and then i'm going to come back here and say two and then i'm going to run the code as you can see now this is rounded off to two decimals so that's basically what they're looking for the output should contain the year month and the average difference between the distance per dollar the absolute value rounded off to two decimals so yeah that's how you solve these kind of sql interview questions thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye